I first came to Kentucky though, my freshman year, it was the summer of 2018, and I was not a believer at that point. Um, you know, the church wasn't a huge part of my life growing up. I was sort of Catholic, um, raised in that sort of um, space and that mindset, but I only really went to church on Easter and Christmas, and then when I came to Kentucky, just really noticed that there was a lot of differences within culture, there was a lot more churches, and it was something that I didn't really attach to right away. It was something I kind of was sort of scared of, didn't really want to get involved in, and then um, just being around a lot of like-minded people. I think one of the best people and best mentors I've had while I've been here has been Coach Minge, our head coach. Watching the way he lived his life, watching the way he treated his family, and watching the way that he talked to his kids, and just treated people around him. There was something different about him, and I didn't know he was a believer. Even when he was recruiting me, um, didn't know it, just knew there was something different about him and the way that he lived. And uh, when I came here, just started to ask some questions, and I uh, just become more aware of certain things. And so, quickly started to realize that there was a lot of people out here that were trying to live for just more than that, just more than just, hey, I just want to live for the day, and just, hey, I'm going to die one day, or whatever. Um, there was a lot of people, and um, that's when kind of FCA came into the picture too. You know, for me that was huge, and kind of a culmination of all that led to, it was in, in my freshman year, October 8th of 2018, where I professed my faith in Christ and, and was baptized, and um, you know, from that point moving on, everything changed in my life, and it wasn't always for the better. Um, there was a lot of pushback from family members and different friends back home who didn't know exactly what I was doing, didn't know exactly this internal heart change that I had. Um, so it was, it was a challenge, but um, ultimately I knew that um, just reading through the Gospels and reading through the Scriptures, you know, I had to kind of break things down for myself and say, man, is this something worth believing? Um, could this be true? Could this not be true? And just ultimately came to the conclusion that why would somebody lie about this? Why would somebody make up these stories and just die for them ultimately? And everything fell into place, everything made sense for me. Just realizing that the need and the capacity that I had for saving was a huge thing for me because I didn't think I needed that, right? I thought I was okay the way that I was. I thought I, thought I was, I didn't think I was perfect, but I thought that the things that I was doing and checking off the box, I thought that that was enough and came to the conclusion that it's not. And I needed Jesus and I needed saving and Jesus is the only way to God from what I've established now, from what I believe now. Once I really got to college is when I kind of made my faith my own. Um, just kind of being away from my family and everything, you kind of have to make it your own and make it a daily diligence to do um, Christ-like things and improve on areas of your life because there's so many temptations around college. I feel like this team um, really helped me with that. There's a lot of good guys on here that are Christians and kind of hold each other accountable. I wouldn't be where I am in my faith without baseball. Without the Cincinnati Spikes organization, um, they really discipled me and really kind of showed me what it really meant to live my life for Christ and so um, you know I now see baseball as just a platform for me to you know, send out God's Word and um, show people really what it means to live a good life even though we just doing normal stuff like baseball. Coming to Kentucky it was kind of a change because every Sundays just kind of didn't really fit into the schedules as much uh, with Sunday practices and you know trying to get up early and all that but uh, FCA helps a lot because it kind of, you know, it gives you time during the week to get away from school, get away from practice and baseball and all that, just to kind of go and be with other athletes and other believers. Just so many of the support staff looking to better your faith and um, so many of the players always holding each other accountable and, you know, having these Bible studies. This has really been like one part of a team where I feel like our faith is open. Um, which I, I love a lot and, you know, it holds me to a higher standard. You know, Coach Minge is just, um, he's a really good guy and just allowing us the freedom to have even Sunday chapels before games, you know, that's something that's really important to Coach Minge. He makes it optional for the players, but pretty much everybody shows up and it's just a really cool and awesome opportunity for, you know, we can't really go to church, noon game, we gotta be here at nine o'clock on a Sunday morning. So it's, it's tough to get out there to church, but to have that chapel speaker still come in and speak to us, it's really cool. So just thankful for the opportunity that even Coach Minge allows us and affords us. And just from him trickling down to assistant coaches, managers, um, players, it's just a really, um, a really cool opportunity we have here to worship the Lord uh, while still playing Division One baseball.